this is part two. We're going to be looking at what did I get out of this collection that me and Dante from Skittle Rampage just went and picked up last week. He took most of the anime. I kept most of the Star Wars. And we got a big box right here. So we're going to run through. There's about almost 70 pops in this bucket. So we're just going to see what I did get. Most of it is Star Wars, but there's a bunch of other stuff in here. First up, we do got the flocked Walmart Taz from Space Jam, A New Legacy. Love the movie, love the series, and if you haven't seen one of my videos that I did two months ago, it's almost at 30,000 views. Check that video out. Venomized Ironheart Pop in a Box exclusive. There is a Chase version to this pop. Beautiful pop. And actually, uh, Skittles took the chase to that. He, for some reason, took most of the chases out of this collection. I, I'm not sure how he ended up doing that. Next up, we got Ghost Panther, Glow in the Dark. This is the GameStop sticker, Funko Insider Club. And uh, so, yeah, I only see those showing up at GameStop. Next up, we have from the Avengers Endgame line, Iron Spider, one of my favorite Spider-Man suits. Love the attack suit. And from the Avengers Endgame, that line just keeps going. I mean, they keep bringing them out. I know a lot of you like this one. We got the Diamond Collection, Funko Shop exclusive, Selena. In the white dress, I have so many requests for this pop from you guys asking me if they can get if I can get it for you. Well, now I've got one here. Classic Loki box lunch exclusive. I actually missed this one, the drop in the store, so I'm glad I was able to get this out of the collection because I am collecting all the Lokis right now. Cannot wait for season two um, to drop on Disney Plus. Next up, one of my favorite two packs from this year. We got Mariota and Becker. We got the boys from Funko themselves, and this actually came out of Fun Days. Uh, last month we just went through fun days. Love the two-pack. I already have one, but now I got two of them, and it's in a wonderful a vaulted vinyl pop, pop protector as well. All right, next up, I love this t-shirt column, but you guys know I love my t-shirts to begin with. We got Alice in Wonderland. We got the rabbit. It's flocked. Target exclusive. Size medium. Yeah, I definitely can't fit into that. Uh, that would be a medium on the captain, but we got a combo here. And guys, I will be launching a mystery box on my Instagram, Captain Pops underscore. I'll put it right there for you. Hope I didn't spit on you, Dad. But if you guys are interested in any of these pops, make sure you do hit me up on my IG. Shoot me a message. Next up, we got the Blue Spirit Hot Topic exclusive. This just came out last month, and uh, the value on this one's still about twenty-two to twenty-five dollars. Surprise! There's a glow chase to that one that everybody wants, but the common still has some value. Chili Willy, baby, he's frozen, he's icy. This was the holiday bundle, Funko Shop exclusive. Chili Willy, you actually had to buy a big holiday collection to get this one. Very cool pop, love the glitter on it in the paint. It's not a glitter itself, but it does have the glitter application. Um, but let's keep it going. Looks like we have another duplicate, another Blue Spirit Hot Topic. There are a couple dupes in here, but don't worry about that. We got Mora Rose, love the new Target Con sticker. And this just came out again this year from Shits Creek, Mora Rose. All right, all right. And again, most of these pops today are Star Wars, and I will be doing a Star Wars mystery box with all these Star Wars. So do follow me. First up, we got Ray Yellow Lightsaber. And a lot of these Star Wars pops are minty, minty, and have some really good value. We got another classic Loki duplicate. And next up, some of the animes that Skittles did not take, or there was a, we, some of them did have three or four. We got Kakashi Anbu, the triple anime exclusive from Naruto. Check it out, check it out. Black Widow, another Avengers Endgame line pop. We love Black Widow. Really looking forward to more of that on Disney Plus. Hopefully, we'll see some more of that. Another Ray. This one's with two lightsabers. She's dual wielding. Got the force there. Locked up. Very cool Star Wars pop. Looking forward to launching this Star Wars themed mystery box. We do have a couple of these here. The Glow in the Dark Sub Zero Entertainment Earth exclusive. Love my Mortal Kombat. You know, get over here. Taking you back, guys. Button mashing, button mashing, finish him. You know what I'm talking about. We got LJ, we got the King, Amazon exclusive, LeBron James, again, a new legacy, Space Jam. Make sure to check out my videos from last month. Okay, guys, Notorious is no, 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 Notorious. 5,000 pieces, Hot Topic exclusive. We got the Platinum B.I.G. with champagne. Love this pop. Put it to the side. And I know a lot of you anime fans went crazy over this one. There was a line wrapped around the store at Hot Topic for this restock. We got Cleaning Levi here. This apparently is a very, very hot anime show. 
They had a couple of duplicates. I know Skittles did take one of them. Next up, we got Scream Symbiote. This came out last year. The Walgreens exclusive. I love this Symbiote. This is a very sweet looking mold. Very cool looking pop. Keep it moving. All right, I'm going to try my best, guys. Sasuke Renegade Triple A Anime Exclusive. I, I actually think I nailed it. Sasuke probably failed on the on his last name, but Sasuke Triple A Anime Exclusive, baby, we got it right here. And again, if you guys need this pop, hit me up on my IG, Captain Pops underscores. Where you find me? Another gem in this collection. We got the 2020 Galactic Convention Exclusive Darth Vader Concept Series, baby. This is actually one of my favorite Vader molds. This pop looks very, very cool. Just wish they didn't use this retro coloring. Wish they did the black and gold coloration. I love the black and gold. Oh, looks like another Amazon Collector Corpse Exclusive Avengers Endgame. We got Valkyrie. Check her out. Valkyrie and another end, a never ending end game line. They just keep coming, waiting for that 18 inch Iron Man to hit the Funko Shop. It, oh God, today's Wednesday. Is today Wednesday? Is today Wednesday? Oh, time out. Okay, we're back. I actually reminded myself that today's Wednesday and we gotta stay on the Funko Shop because we should be getting Batman's, we should be getting the 18 inch Iron Man. We never know, but. Uh, I got it over here. I got a little computer set up. So we'll stay focused on that. But we're going to stay focused on this. We got another concept series. Boba Fett with the Star Wars Celebration Con official sticker. Another gem in this collection. Another one of the grails. So I'm looking forward to this mystery box because you guys can pick up some sweet pops. So again, don't forget to hit me up if you want to get a part of it. Alright, so uh, one of my wife's favorite lines. We got the American History it's Abe Lincoln, Target exclusive. I do have a couple of the history pops. Again, my wife loves them. I don't have this one, but we... Damn it. Well, we do now, but now it's dented. Damn it. All right. Ooh! We know there's so many childs, but we can never have enough of Baby Yoda. This is actually the NYCC exclusive from last year. We got the child with Pendant. That is the shared... Actually... That's the con official sticker. We got another con official sticker, so this mystery box is looking really good, guys. A Star Wars themed mystery box. So, and again, that's why I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt today, because I know that's all I really picked out of this collection. Skittles is the anime expert. I'm an expert in everything but nothing. But okay, we got another duplicate of the Blue Spirit, so we don't need to look at that guy. We'll keep it moving. Oh, is this a sign? Are we getting 18 inch Iron Man today? We got Civil War Iron Man Hot Topic exclusive. Beautiful mold here, beautiful pop. And again, the people that own this collection took very good care of it. Everything is minty. Next up, we got Dark Side, the Funko Shop exclusive, Justice League, the Heroes line. Actually, this dude filled, he fills this whole box. He might be a five inch pop because he is huge. Keep it moving. I'm telling you, I think I think we're gonna get Iron Man today. This is too many signs. Another Tony Stark in the quantum suit without a mask. The glow in the dark edition. Target exclusive. End game. I know my buddy 99 Pops. He loves his end game line. He, me and him every day we're texting. Are we getting Iron Man today? Are we getting Iron Man today? Captain Marvel glow in the dark. I love this movie. She's got the Tesseract there in the box. You guys let me know in the comments below how much, because apparently most of you hated the movie. I thought it was good. Did you like the movie? What do you think, Dad? Another thumbs up. He's never going to talk to us. One day we're going to get some words out of that man. Spider-Man Stealth Suit, the Hot Topic exclusive, and it is glow in the dark. I love this, you know, one sticker got the glow in the dark and everything going on. Very cool suit, very cool pop. All right, and the next one is Bastila Sean, the GameStop exclusive. I'm pretty sure I just butchered that name. And this is, again, from the Gaming Greats Star Wars line. All right, looks like we got another Sasuke, Triple A, another duplicate. I just wanted to say that name correctly again for Dante. And we got Kakashi Anbu, Triple A anime exclusive. I think it's another duplicate. We've already seen this bad boy. A little bit of damage on that one, but that's okay. That's all right. And another dupe, the Glow in the Dark Sub Zero. There are a few dupes in here. Ooh, we got the Scorpion Walmart exclusive. Get over here, Mortal Kombat Pop. Love this bad boy. I actually just got the chase from my good friend over at 99 Pop. So thank you for that. Enough. Probably one of my favorite R2, 
R2D2 molds. It just looks very true to form. I love the paint application on this one. Again, a Target exclusive. This is from the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary. Here we got Hera. And I was very surprised. There's actually quite a few of these Star Wars Rebels pops that we're going to be pulling out. And they actually have quite some value to them. Most of these Star Wars Rebels pops are worth 40 to 50 bucks, And we got a ton of them in here. So just stick around if you're a Star Wars fan because we're going to be going through them. Venomi Venomized Thanos. I love this one. Another good Venom, but it just looks like Thanos is standing in his boxer shorts. Pretty funny looking. Alright. Wonder Woman, the PX Previews exclusive, also has a Chase variant to this one. We don't have the Chase, but we do have the Common. i never seen this one. Oh, it's a different one. This is Candyland. My dad probably recognized this one. This one's a real throwback. We got Plumpy. This is from ECCC this year. You recognize that character, Dad? Not at all. Not at all, really? You don't remember that guy? I'm sure you remember at least the, this character, at least the little cookie guy or Candyland. Candyland all dudes. All right. I'm pretty sure that now that we do have the red piece, we're gonna end up getting a green, a blue, just like they did the. Uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank on the, on the, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. They're gonna make every single color. This one's definitely staying in my collection. Elvis, the '68 comeback special, a diamond collection. EE exclusive. I'm a huge Elvis fan, and this one's. I have a few Elvis dolls in my collection. Those will be going with that guy. Will be going with that box. Uh, here we go again. Like I said, Star Wars Rebels. We got Zeb. Some of these characters I've never even heard of as well. Obviously, because I believe this is. Uh, is this the streaming service? The Rebels. That's the 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 actual anime. I, I want to almost want to say this is the anime. Guys, let me know in the comments below. I haven't watched that yet on Disney Plus. Ooh, I love these new lines. I love how they're throwing the pins like the Around the World set. We have Luke Skywalker, Amazon exclusive, but again, got the little pin there. Love how they're doing that, keeping the set going. Okay, it doesn't even look like we've hit a dent in this box yet. All right, next up, we got the Pina Colada Slurpee 7 Eleven exclusive. Got the glitter on top. I wouldn't eat it though, it might make you sick. But hey, YOLO, right? YOLO. Another Star Wars Rebels. Another name I don't recognize. We got Kanan. But I do love the figures. I love the molds. And again, another great Star Wars pop. That's going to be going in this theme mystery box for you guys. Alright, this didn't come out of that collection. This is just me somehow misplacing. I just got this from the Funko Shop last week. Funko Shop exclusive. Pocahontas. But hey, I guess she just wanted to make a cameo. Alright, we got another Kid Loki. I think there's actually two in this collection. The Funko Shop exclusive, It is the. there's a common version. The Funko exclusive is a metallic paint job for that guy there. And another Candyland. Do you recognize Lord Licorice? Do you know this guy? Another shelf warmer from TargetCon. If you need this guy, he's still warming the shelf for about six months now. Go grab him if you need him. Very heavy pop though. Okay, looks like we found another Wonder Woman duplicate. We can just pass that one right on by. And we've got Miles Morales. Love that chase. One in six chance at pulling this if you buy it from the first release. Love my chase. No chase left behind. And love that he's got the little spider suit going on. All right. They actually just rest if you hope you guys, if you're looking for this, Amazon just restocked it the past two days. So if you missed out, hopefully you didn't get that restock. We got Year of the Shield, Amazon exclusive winner, Soldier, Captain America. Uh, we should probably get the old man Steve. I think it's going to show up today in the mail, so hopefully we'll be able to review that. <laughs> Funny story here. I was at a convention last week. You guys probably already seen that video when I went to PopCon with Dante. Um, I'm all in on the Space Jam set. You guys probably already seen my videos from last month, but the only one I was missing was the Chase version. I didn't have the Chase yet, so I actually bought this from a friend of mine over at Pops and Son Collectibles from that con, and then when I bought this collection, there's actually two in here. So I now have three of this Chase, which is pretty funny. Pretty funny. Ooh, the Mandalorian. One of the best molds, too. He's got the fire going on there. The Mandalorian Flamethrower. Target exclusive. Target gets all the, they get all the good gold. One of my favorite Nightcrawler pops. There's not many either, but this is such a cool pop. It's got the detail on his skin. Just love this. Shared sticker as well from last year. SDCC. All right. I actually, when I first found this one in the collection, I was like, okay, 
we got a little grail here. I'm like, Pop Rocks, we got Brett Michaels, and I'm like, and it's a chase. It actually does, doesn't have much value, but still a very cool pop. And if you collect the Pop Rocks line, definitely one I know you guys need to snag. And uh, Brett Michaels, there it is. All right, Cowabunga dudes, we got the Target exclusive Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. I don't have Splinter, but we do now. I'm keeping that one. We got a Hot Topic exclusive Superman. This one just dropped last month. And uh, of course, he's got the superhero pose landing on the ground like that. And another Candyland figure. We got, what about this one, Dad? King Candy, you recognize this guy? Nope. <laughs> King Candy from the Candy. This is this. That guy is a brick. That thing is a brick, and it'll probably brick up on the shelf as well. Darth Maul, Chalice Collectibles exclusive. I wish Funko would adopt what Chalice is doing here. Every sticker they put on one of their exclusives comes with a, a serial number, so there's no tampering, there's no fakes, and the sticker is like tamper-proof. If you try to peel the sticker off to do a sticker swap, the sticker will actually, it falls apart because it's made in layers. You'll just peel the top layer off. Wish Funko would do this for our con exclusives because there's too many swapping out the shared sticker for a con sticker and immediately taking a pop worth 40, making it worth 140 just by pulling a sticker off. We need to have proprietary boxes for con exclusives. Something needs to be different. The serial number needs, we need to do something to really maintain, maintain these values and these con pops for a lot longer and get rid of all the fakes going on. But this is a big boy, Django Fett. That, uh, Walgreens exclusive. I was lucky enough to find one of these last year. You randomly will find stuff like that at Walgreens every once in a while, but normally they're completely smashed with shampoo and all kinds of stuff on it. Surprised about this one. I actually was really into this retro Tony the Tiger Funko Shop exclusive. I thought this bad boy was going to take off and be a grail. He's just kind of a common Tony at this point, but still sweet look with the retro look. We got Jedi Knight Ravon here. GameStop exclusive coming from Star Wars. Another character I'm not familiar with. Gaming greats. Check it out. Let me know if you do know what that character is. Another one we got Kwai Gon Jin Tatooine Amazon exclusive. And uh, I know this one just was restocked probably not too long ago. I was able to pick some of these up last month. But now we got another one, another Darth Maul. This is the Smuggler Bounties exclusive, another box I believe was coming off of Amazon, Star Wars Rebels. Just check out that Darth Maul, that Darth Maul mold right there. Trying to say that three times fast. Darth Maul mold, Darth Maul mold, Darth Maul mold. Not bad. All right, hey, there it is. There's my second chase. I now have three of these. So if you, oh lordy. I didn't notice all the, I didn't notice the bash in that side, so we'll just, Nobody saw that. That thing is minty, minty, minty. We got Jean Grey, glow in the dark. A very cool looking pop. Love the face on this one. Sweet, sweet thing. And there's that Nightcrawler. We all, oh, Nightcrawler. And uh, I forgot her name. Terrible names. Mystique, there we go. This is a very cool uh, line from this movie. Love it. And another Star Wars pop. We have the WonderCon con sticker as well. We got gold. Stormtrooper, you guys know I love my gold, and this is that black and gold boxing that I wish all the Star Wars came in. I love this look, love it, love it, love it. Are you guys catching your breath? I have to keep taking breaks in between cuts because I don't know, this is just too much to say. It's a mouthful, but we're gonna get through this box, guys. And if you're still here, thank you for still being here. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Twinkie the Kid, the Chase Edition. I love Twinkie. Who doesn't love Twinkie the Kid? This one will really never expire. That one can stay on your shelf forever. And then the next one, we got Ninja Deadpool and another exclusive Marvel Collector's Corpse. Again, I'm pretty sure all these Collector Corpse boxes come from Amazon. We got Ninja Deadpool. There's so many different Deadpools I cannot keep up. I've got six different 10-inch Deadpools in my collection. I'm like, and there's probably hundreds of 4-inch versions. Next up, Walmart exclusive Endgame. We got Rocket. We got Rocket. He's explosive, baby. Okay. And we got another Amazon exclusive. We got War Machine in the Quantum Suit. Another Endgame phenomenal pop. I'm actually keeping that one as well. You guys probably know about this one. The Babe Ruth Walmart exclusive black and white. We were supposed to get this from NYCC as well with a different pose. The pop never showed up. It only was released in the con if you were there, and there was only like 100 in the con, so that version is now worth 
a million dollars because nobody got it. It's crazy. It's a it's a, it's a controversy. Whatever, we'll keep it on moving. Next up, we got Octo Spidey, the Walgreens exclusive. Another one that came out last year around Halloween. But I do love this suit. And uh, I still have the Spider-Man with a bag on his head. I actually want to put a Buccaneers uniform on him because most of the time you want to wear a bag on your head when you go to a Bucks game. But not last year and not this year. But let's keep going. We got the glow in the dark, Captain Marvel. I believe this is another duplicate, but or the one we had before was not glow in the dark. At this point, I don't even remember my name because we've been speaking for over an hour now. We got Porky the Pig, Funko Shop exclusive, another Space Jam great, and I do love this movie, but it's not as good as the first. Let me know what you thought about the sequel. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Just let me know. All right, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep trying to scream all this information out. We got a fun day's torchy, and it basically came out when the Olympics came out, and that's what we got. So nobody really cares for this pop, but I think it's cool. Whatever, I'm almost out of breath, but we're gonna keep going. We got Plo. Who the hell is Plo Koon? Walgreens exclusive. I don't even know who this guy is, but very sweet looking mold. Love the brain looking head. Cool pop for all you Star Wars fans out there. We're gonna get through this, guys. We got Chop. Another Star Wars Rebels, another R2 looking mold. Sweet looking pop. Don't know who he is. Let me know if you know who's the chop. The ninth inning, this is the home stretch. We're, I promise you it's almost over. We've almost got through this. And this is only half of this collection. Again, Dante took the other half of it. You can imagine how much time we took just to split this up, go through it, get the value. Let's finish this party, baby. Cherry Slurpee 7-Eleven exclusive. Another glitter for all you foodies out there. All right, we got another Mandalorian. I cannot wait for the next season. We got Mando with Grogu. Another one of my favorite pops. But it, the 10 inch version of this, best 10 inch version ever made. You got the chrome mask on the Mandalorian. It just looks so good. Looks so good. Almost as good as me. Thank you. All right, well, next up we got Ezra from, I'm telling you, there's a lot of these Star Wars Rebels pops and they look really good. And the value on them, like I said, um, apparently they've got some value to them, and you guys probably collect them, and you already know that. We got Chrome Thanos. It looks like an international sticker, to be honest, so I'm not sure what store this was exclusive to in the States. But being something like that, it was probably Walmart, because I know all the Hawks came in from Walmart. All exclusive, all chromed out. And we got Sabine. Sabine, you let me know how. If, I might not even got it right with those two, but you will let me know if, how... Whatever. I'm just going to shut up. I can't even think anymore, guys. We've just went through 100 pops. We're going to finish it, though. Funko Insider Club exclusive. We got Hulk with a quantum suit. Another endgame pop. The Hulk. All right, there's two left. Two left, I promise, guys. We are almost there. We're going to do it as double time as well. Darth Maul. We've already looked at this one. We went over the sticker with the serial numbers. Chalice Collectibles exclusive. But the last... But not least, is the Star Wars Ashoka, and that is the last pop that I have in this collection. And again, if you want to see all of them anime pops, head over to Dante's page, Skittle Red page. It's linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this, go watch all the pops that he got from this collection. And if you are interested in the Star Wars themed mystery box, again, Make sure you give me a follow on my Instagram. I will be loading this mystery box this week, so stay tuned. Guys, it's been a great week. We'll see you on the next one.